So they judge the righteous. Okay, come on. God judges the righteous. And God is angry with the wicked every day. Most I said he's angry. Okay, that's my favorite scripture right there. The most I said he's angry with the wicked every damn day. And why not? Okay, the way they jack this damn society up, man, in the lawlessness and immoralness. Okay, you're walking around, you got men walking around with lipstick on, okay, and you promote stuff like that. And try to force all the nations, I want you to read all the way down, and try to force all the nations, okay, to what? To do not to promote that, okay? Sleeping with men, men sleep with men. And if you don't like it, all the other nations that come over here and fornicate, okay, with America, they at least have some kind of morals, okay, when they come over here. The people from Pakistan and the people from the other nations over in Iraq and Pakistan, New Delhi, okay, over in, in Bali, okay, over in New Delhi and over there, they have some kind of righteous morals about themselves before they come over into America and mingle with you damn devils, man. As soon as they mingle with you damn devils, it's over with. They start taking off the hijab, the, 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 the women start, okay, taking off their skirts, okay, their men start becoming homosexuals, okay, wearing their khakis up there behind, looking weird, okay. Okay, that's the way of Esau, that's the, what, the spirit, okay, that this man has put, okay, on our people. A feminine vibration, man, and a demonic vibration. Come on. If he turned not, he will whip his sword. Yeah. This man, he got to turn back, okay, he got to wear his sword, okay? He got to repent. You must repent, sis, in these last days, okay, according to the Bible. Read on down to 12. He had bent his bow. The most I said, guess what? so-called white man, you already bent your bow, okay? Nuclear weapons. You already bent your bow already, okay? You already bent it already, uh, Skippy. That's what's gonna happen. You bent your bow and made it ready. And it's ready. Third world's war is lingering. The most I said, he already bent this bow, okay, and made it ready. Right. He had also prepared for him the instruments of death. Stupid fool, okay? You prepared your own damn casket. You prepared your own damn death, man, okay? The big damn wicked. That's your damn precursor of repercussion. The most I said, you prepared for yourself the instruments of death. Come on. He ordained his arrows against the persecutor. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You don't think this, this white man has had enough of you so-called black men, okay, on these jobs making $100,000, and they working remedial jobs, okay, as damn janitors making just remedial wages. He getting sick of that, Kalak. Okay, okay, what's that thing again that, uh, what's his name again? Uh, the guy, Jesse Jackson, can't speak no more. What is that thing that he negotiated for us? Okay, when he was running for president back in 90, in 1990, okay, when he was running for president back in 1990, Jesse Jackson was actually, he was actually trying to get reparations for the black men and black women of Puerto Ricans. Okay, so they said, no, nah, we ain't gonna do that. They said, we gotta change the whole structure. Okay, Congressional Act, amendments and every damn thing. We ain't give you that. But you know what we'll give you? We'll give you affirmative action. Okay, instead of two black women working on the job, we'll give you 25 now. Jesse Jackson said, okay, sir, thumbs up. Affirmative action, that's reparation. That's reparation. The Chinese got reparation. We got reparation. The Arabs got reparation. We got reparation too. Damn well, slaves on the damn farm, man. man. That's where they came from. Thank Jesse Jackson, okay, for negotiating, okay, reparation. Thank, thank, thank to him for doing that for us, man. Okay, affirmative action. Don't you know the so-called white man is tired of that man? Okay, a black man, he getting hired because instead of Instead of six black men on the job, they got five. He's overqualified, and they get mad when you come in and get the job. Come on, King. Behold, he traveled with iniquity. Most I said this man traveled with iniquity. Okay, he can't be stopped. He can't stop lying, okay, if he, if he wanted to. He can't stop doing wickedness, okay, if he wanted to. That's how the so-called white man gets out. That's his spirit. That's how he's made up. As bad as you so-called nigga, the most I said, you can't make that straight, but you made crooked. Right. No matter how hard you Puerto Ricans and Negroes try to do it, you can't make the white man a righteous man. He yeah. can't even make himself righteous. Right. How the hell are you going to try to damn do it? This man plays his part as the devil to the damn teeth. Right. Only ones that try to make them righteous, you know, Uncle Tom, damn, damn workers over here in America, shoot both damn damn niggas over here in the damn America, man. Always shuffling and, and job waiting. And yes, son, yes, son, yes, son, yes, son, man. All right? It's supposed to be the opposite way around. Come on. And had conceived mischief. He said he's conceived mischief. 
That's his man. That everybody's wondering. He's a mystery. It's a mystery. How you? Why you smiling like that, uh, Tommy? Okay, it's a mystery. Okay, you ain't gonna be smiling much longer. And all you black people out there, that's a shame, and you ain't listening now. You gonna be back. This other book of Amos eight and eleven said, "Wait, wait, you ain't doing us no favors by not stopping." That's what they don't get, Shalot. You ain't doing us no favors. It'd be better for you to stop and listen than to keep on walking back. That's what you don't get. Yeah, it's loud now. It's gonna get louder, Opie. In a couple more years, we're gonna get louder, Opie. When them bombs go kaboom, Opie, kaboom! Let's see who claims your damn ears now. The man with him, damn, coming up his damn ear. All the damn lies they done told and teaching your damn kids in school. He got the nerve to walk by us with his hand on his damn ear, okay? The damn lies they done damn told. We sick of them too. And all the kids should go to school with their damn hands on their damn ears, okay? When they teach George Washington and Columbus. I had a nerve to go by with a stinking looking self, man. And his hand, but now I was hoping they stopped too so I could get him. Come on. Hey, what? Man, falsehood. Most I said this man brought up what? Falsehood. Most I said what? Falsehood. Come on. What? White crisis, what? And brought forth falsehood. Most I said this man brought forth falsehood, man. And mischief. Okay? To this very day, this is our people. This is their favorite go to right here. All right? You know Christ can't be that color, man. The Bible tells you that Christ is a dark skinned man. But you so called niggas, rather than believe that, and rather than, okay, admit. Okay, that Christ is a black man, okay? You so-called Europeans, <laughs> what kills me is this, okay? When we show this picture all day long, if you have a European that'll come up and they'll say, well, Christ, he was, he had dark skin. <laughs> they will never admit that he was a Negro, Clark. They will say, well, he was, he was Middle Eastern. <laughs> they'll admit that he was a Negro. They'll say everything else, Ephraim, okay? But they won't say he was a Negro. They'll say, oh, he was, he was Middle Eastern. Yeah, he did. He came from Asia. He was so, olive. Yeah, he was olive. olive. Right, he was olive. Okay, he came from Asia. They'll admit that he was dark, but anything to give you so-called black men and Puerto Ricans the credit, they will not associate that with, okay? Just like the greatness and the genius, okay, that the Most High made us to be and the people that made us to be. We invented every damn thing, okay? The black man, the only thing he did is call the copy and everything and incorporated it. Come on. He made a pit and dig dip. Yeah, the most I said, this damn fool, what he did, okay, he made a pit, okay, his own grave, Joshua, he did what? He made a pit and dig dip. Most I said, he made a pit, his own damn grave, you right. damn fool, okay? All the mischief and all the wickedness that you did, you think you're not going to be accountable for that? Right. The most I said, in the end, okay, this is what's going to happen to you, Paulie. He said, he what? He made a pit and made your own grave. You damn fool, you thought you was gonna get away with enslaving, okay, the Jews and the Israel, right. the people of the Mosai. You thought the Mosai was gonna let you get away with the rape, love, and murder, okay, that you did? The Mosai said, you can see mischief and falsehood, this is what's gonna happen to you. Right. He, he made a pit, Mosai said, you made a pit, you damn fool, and it ain't talking about a pit bull dog either. Come on. And dig it. Most I said, you dug your own damn grave, Susie. Ain't that something? Your parents are lying to you all this damn time, Lindsay. Okay? And most I said, you made a pit and what? And dig it. And it's falling into the into the ditch. Most I said, you falling into your own damn pit, you damn fool. Okay? Everything that you've done, mischief, falsehood, lies, you falling right into it. All right? Black man, you better get the hell away from that damn woman. You better walk by us. You better smile like you don't want to. Okay? I'm insulted. Okay, and really what it is? Uh, that's your girlfriend? Okay, well I wouldn't be I wouldn't be proud of proud of that. She looks like hell. She looks like a piece of trash, man. Okay, you telling us, okay, so what does that what the hell does that say to mean that's your girlfriend? Okay, she looks right. Why do you got right? Why do you got another man hold why do you let another man hold your girlfriend's hand? You damn freak, what? He's gay, okay, but well that ain't, well listen, that ain't good either. Okay, that ain't good either. He's a man, okay, by anatomy. He's still a damn man. Okay, you damn freak. What the hell? That goes to show you right there what a damn freak Esau is, man. He's letting another damn man profane. Okay, he's letting another damn man hold his damn woman in and gonna come up to us and talk about, well, that's my woman. You're a damn fool, man. Okay, I wouldn't let nobody hold my damn woman hand. That's the damn shit. Okay, the damn fool, man. And you black men, you killed me. You got all the damn answers. And these last days, you black men and you Puerto Ricans, you gonna pay, okay, for being damn stupid, man. Okay, that's why people in the end down a damn get stupid contest, man. Okay, who could be the damn winner? That's the point our people in. Black people in Puerto Ricans. 
ban a damn get stupid contest, man. Who can dress the stupidest? Okay, who can act the stupidest, man? Okay, who can look this damn stupidest, man? And it cut you and it hurt you to your heart. Okay, we come out here and tell you the truth about your damn self. Right. Now you have run from this damn truth before you come over here and listen to it. That's the same spirit they had of Christ. Okay, people used to see your whole shot coming. They used to go across the damn street. <laughs> And to see Christ and the disciples coming, they used to run, shoe. Get the hell out the damn way. Oh, here they come. Let me go back to the damn house. Ain't that right, Skippy? Hey, 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 okay. No. There you go. I don't know how I'm reading it. Huh? All right. What you what you uh, feel about? All right. What you feel about that sign right there, Skippy? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Let's just jump right to it. How you feel about that, Skip? Bring it up. You got to hold it. You can see with your eyes. Okay. How you feel about that? Don't look at that. You seen him? How he looked at it? Cause like, he don't like that. <laughs> hey, you have to have you straining for it. You can see. You can see what's on the sign. Okay. Yeah. Negroes, West End. What do you feel about that? Emmett Till. Okay. The Sandra Masseys. Okay. How do you feel about that? Slavery was terrible. Fucking thing. Huh? About right, yeah, you're talking about slavery. That, right, some of that happened after some of that happened after hardcore slavery, after we was in the fields, man. Okay, still to this day, I said 14, you know what I want, 21, and you hold your precept. How do you feel about that? That was fucking terrible. Yeah, right, it was terrible. And let me ask you a question. Let's just jump right to it, Skip. Okay, let's just jump right to it, Harry. Name Will. You said your name is Will? Yeah. Okay, that ain't no better. Okay, that ain't, that, that ain't no better. You said that. Okay, well, look, come on back and let's, let's, let's start me, all over. Let's start all over. We're not okay. going to have this skip. I'm okay, Will. Let's start nice all to over. meet you. Okay, Will. Okay, I'm willing Will. to have a conversation. Okay, Will. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just do this for entertainment. Okay, all right, Will. It's not entertainment. Okay, all right, but listen, okay. Can you have a genuine discussion? Absolutely. Okay, right. How do you, do you believe in the Bible? Let's just get I that out of the way. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Do you feel that you got to pay, okay, or your people got to pay for that? Because there was a what, reason. What, what is my people? Okay, your people. Okay, what, what is your people. father? Right, absolutely right, man. Right, right, so right. If people. I were to say uh -huh. your people, that's racist. Uh, right, no, 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 it wouldn't be. It'd be called the truth. Okay, because right, if I'm calling you by your if race, how is that racist? If I'm calling you by your hey, race, man, that's who you are. Still a genuine discussion, right? Right, I'm just I'm answering your question. Yeah. How is that racist? If you look on a, on an application when you go and fill out a job application, yes, a job that you want, and they say what's your ethnicity? Okay, Haitian, okay, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're black, whether you're white. Okay, would the application be racist? Would you call the application racist or the people? Right. Would you call them right. racist? They just they just specified, okay, what you just said, okay, race. Would you call them racist? I would not call Good question. Uh application racist. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I asked you, Will. Okay, the only thing I asked you, I said right, the only thing I asked you, Will, I just said, what do you feel, okay, about you know, do you feel that your people have to pay for it? According to the Bible, right. Well, I'm going to read a scripture to you because I know you ain't got much time. I know you're a little antsy. And I'm not being disrespectful to you. Antsy, okay, okay, all right, okay. I'm saying, saying right. We are. That, we are, right. And I'm respecting you, okay? I want you, just like I want you to respect this scripture right here, okay? Isaiah 1421. Because, Will, you did say you believe in the Bible, right? Okay, right. Now, this is the book of Isaiah. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah. Okay, the 14th chapter. You hold that one right there. Isaiah, the 14th chapter. In the 21st verse. This is the Bible now, the one that you just said you believe in. Come on, read it nice and slow for Will. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Right the prophet. Verse chapter 14, 21, Will. Come on. Prepare slaughter. Most I said prepare slaughter. Okay? You know what the word slaughter means. I'm not going to insult your intelligence, yeah, Will. Yeah. It means what? It means slaughter. Right, slaughter. right, right, right. Okay, because it's, it's going to tell you from the very beginning, okay, what the scripture entails. And what does that scripture mean? It says prepare slaughter, okay, meaning something is about to happen, okay? Something's preparing something for happening. Come on. For his children. Also, I said prepare slaughter for his children, okay? For what? For the iniquities of their fathers. Also, I said we're preparing slaughter for the iniquities, okay, of your fathers, okay, what you did. Because, listen, don't you know, right, their fathers, right, and when you read about it, it's talking about, right, it's talking about you Edomites, okay, according to the Bible, that's right. your biblical name, okay, and when you read the Bible, okay, your lineage, okay, and your seed go back to Esau. When you read the story in Genesis 25th chapter about Esau and Jacob, okay, your biblical ancestors is Edom, okay, and along through history, okay, you were standing up and you were broken into the Greeks and the Romans, okay, and the British, Okay, in the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, it tells you that we're still living, okay, up under the British law. Okay, America was that eighth that came out of that. America, it ain't no, it, it ain't no interpretation. America was that eighth 
that came out of the seventh, okay? I don't interpret things differently than you do. I, right, I want you to interpret this right here. Okay, Will, come on. Read, read it one more time. Prepare slaughter. So I said prepare slaughter. For his children, for his children, okay? The Edomites, white people, come on. For the iniquity of their fathers. Also, I said for the iniquities, okay, the transgressions, the slaughters, okay, of your father. Somebody got to pay for this right here, man. Okay, all the amendments in the constitutions, okay, were written, okay, against, okay, the so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, okay? The, the amendments in the constitutions, okay, the Bill of Rights, okay, even the emancipation, when you read about the emancipation, okay, that was written in what, 1865, okay, right, during the Gettysburg Address, during the Civil War, okay, that, look, you still had people in slavery back then, okay? Even in, what, even in 1776, you still had Negroes in slavery. So we were never free in 1865. We were never free, okay? I don't agree with that. Excuse me? Right, you don't agree with slavery? Okay, right, we, you, you don't have to agree with it, but it happened. Okay, just like I don't agree with, just like I don't, right, just like I don't agree with George Washington having over 100 slaves, but it happened. Okay, just like what? Right. We don't make no excuses about our forefathers being slavery, but it happened. Okay, according to the Bible, it had to happen. Okay. Right. So me and you have a disagreement right here. Uh, how and why? You asked me. We have a disagreement. You uh, said I, I never disagreed with anything you just said. Right. Okay, but you so, did disagree with this. You did say that's my interpretation. Okay. You did say that's my interpretation. Oh, Will. Oh, okay, all right. Read it again from the top so we'll get some more understanding. Okay, I see this woman over there getting antsy. Come on. Prepare slaughter. Read one more time. You give me the book of Revelation 13, 9 and 10. You can hold that and call it, okay? Come on, come on. Listen up, Will. Prepare slaughter. Also, I said prepare slaughter. For his children. Also, I said for your children. Okay, come on. For the iniquity. All the iniquity, slavery, captivity, rape, okay? Somebody got to pay for Columbus coming over and raping the Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans, okay? The people in the islands, okay? It's like, right, exactly, right. It ain't right, but somebody got to pay for it. Your forefathers, they ran up the bill, okay, and left the rest of on and left you holding the bill. Come on. Of their fathers. Of your fathers. That's it right there, okay? Of your fathers, okay? Somebody got to pay. Come on. That they do not rise. Most I said they don't. The reason why is because if you rise, okay, there will be more slavery, captivity, okay. Because just like the Bible says, okay, give me the book now. Give me the book of Habakkuk, okay, five and two. I was looking for that earlier, okay. Because why? Because your people will set up for a certain disposition of time to rule this earth. You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay, that's the reason why you have. Listen, listen, Will. Okay, because this is definitely not up for debate. Okay, right. When you look through history, okay, from the Greeks, Alexander the Greek, all the way down to Queen Elizabeth, the British, this is your time to rule, Dame 221. This is your time to rule this earth. Everybody, every kingdom on this earth was given a certain disposition of time. That's right. We're living in the last leg of the Roman Empire. You're the children of the Greeks and the Romans, okay, right. and of the British, okay? Christ is coming back to deliver these people right here, okay, the so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, according to the Bible, okay? Acor according to the Bible, so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, okay, which consists of the 12 tribes. The so-called white man is over there, and Israel is not a Jew. He converted to what? He converted to Judaism in 740 AD. The real Jews are right over here in America. You're looking at a Jew right there. Right. You're looking at a Jew right there. You're looking at the children of Israel, okay, what you see, okay, Ephraimite, okay, Simeon, okay, Ephraim, okay, Gad, all right? You're looking at them, okay? These are the children of Israel, and it was prophesied in the Bible that we would come over here on slave ships and slavery and serve captivity and punishment, okay, upon the Europeans. America was made for you. That's the reason why we came over here. You came over here, and you flourished. That's the reason why you got gold over in America. America has the best soil. This is your kingdom. Okay, you might as well just live it up. This is your kingdom. The next kingdom to come, you see these people right here? Okay, we're gonna rule up under the hands of Christ in righteousness. It's not gonna be a lawless, okay, bubblegum kingdom like you got. Okay, Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, the Israelites. Read the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, and it tells you that we're gonna have a ruling government. Seven, okay, what? 12,000 out of each tribe, okay, which are the nation of Israel. Okay, you got? Call it and read it, come on. Listen up to this some real good, Will, come on. Rebecca two and five. Yea, also, he transgressed by wine. Also, I said, your people transgressed by wine. Okay, that's what you've been transgressing by, by wine. Okay, by physical wine also, and by your philosophies. Don't you know you can't go in the Bible and find where it says be a Roman Catholic? 
or be a Baptist or be a Muslim or be a five percent. Don't mistake us for uh, being Muslims. Okay, a five percent. Right. I understand that. Right. I got you. Okay. Don't mistake us for being us. Because look, we're not spokesmen for everybody. Okay. We don't believe. Okay. We don't believe. Okay. In Islam, and we don't believe in being a five percent. What we believe in is the law, statutes, and commandments of this book right here, and everything that's written in it. Right. Okay. Your fate is written in this book, just like our upcoming kingdom is written in this book as well, too. The one you say you believe in. Come on. He is a proud man. Most I said you're proud. Proud people, man. Right. Okay. The moon landed. Nobody landed on the damn moon, man. Right. Come on. Let's get real, man. Nobody landed on the moon. Okay. You're proud. The be a proud man, you got I, to go I, around and I make up laws. Right, okay, right. Your people, right. To be a proud man. How do you feel? Listen, this is an example right here. I'm going to get you. Sir, okay. My people. Okay, it is your people. Okay, it is your people. You're not an individual. You'll see. Who, who's your father, man? Come on, let's. Come on, who's your father? Okay, yeah, hey, yes, he is. Okay, yes, he is. Come on, Will. Come on, that don't make no damn sense. How would you get here if it wasn't for your father? Come on. Right. Don't, don't do that to me, man. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 21, okay? Don't let, give me Deuteronomy 32 and 21. I'm not arguing. You say your father's not important, okay? But you said your father. Is not important. No, How did you get here? Discussion. How did you get here? My had hey, yes, it is important because it's all relative to the Bible because it all goes back to your lineage. This is a history book, man. Okay, this book links us back up to who we are, just like it links you back up to who you are. Okay, lineage is important. All right, come on, read it again. He is a proud man. That's what I said that's a proud man. Okay, proud anybody man. who goes against, okay, anybody who goes against the oracles that's written in this book. Okay, don't you know there's a law in the Bible against homosexuality? Right. And for people to, to sign a bill and saying it's okay, you can do what you want to do, that's being proud, man, against the Heavenly Father. There's laws in the Bible against diet, against your diet about, okay, things you're supposed to eat. I'm not saying you're against it. I'm just saying that's an example of being a proud man. Because your people are the ones who made up the laws. Your people, black people, let me ask you a question. Name me one amendment. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Let me, hey, Will, let me ask you a question. Give me one amendment that a black man wrote or a constitution. I'll wait on that. I'm not worried about a waiver. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and. Act no, like Will. I that's a simple question. Give me one black person, okay, Native American Indian, Puerto Rican, who made up the constitution, any law in the constitution or the amendment. I'll wait all day on that one. I don't have one. Right, exactly, because who made it up? Your people made it up. Okay, the president, 1777, right. That's what I'm saying. These are your people who made up the laws. Go ahead, Will, go ahead. Because I don't, I, I don't want you to say, okay, that I didn't give you a chance to talk. Go ahead, Will. Uh -huh. I know you're not. I'm explaining it to you now, and I'm going to give you your faith. I'm going to give you your faith, Will. If you just hold on for one second, just listen. I'm going to give you your faith. But I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to give you the full understanding, okay, of who you are first, okay? And then I'm going to tell you your faith. Absolutely. Okay, because you seem a little confused, okay? That's how you say, who I am. Who I am. I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to give you a little understanding on who you are. You ain't got the time. I am being respectful. I'm being trust me. You can ask any of these brothers out here. I'm this is the probably the most respectful I've been. Okay, they probably seen me. Okay, well. Alright, come on. Neither keep it at home. Most I said, y'all never keep at home. Okay, the United States, the cave. What rightfully belongs to you is the caves. Okay, that's where your forefathers are from. Okay, a damn rock, man. Okay, that's your rightful that's home right. right there, the Caucasus Mountains. Okay, that's the reason why you call yourselves Caucasian people. So the most I said, what they what? Neither keep it at home. That's a big description right there that just fits you right there, Will. Okay, and your people. Your people never stay at home, man. Okay, that's the reason why you're over in Germany, you're over in Paris now, at the Olympics, right? Now as we speak, you're over in Korea with an army, you're right. in Washington DC, you're in Alaska, you're trying, you're up in space, okay, with your damn satellites. And most I said, you don't keep at home, man. Right, right, okay, right. you're down up under the sea, killing the damn sharks. Then you, when your arm gets bit off, then you want to hold a damn press conference. Right. You know, go down and bother the damn animals, man. And most I calls your people a certain them. adjective too. Your people have done it, man. Your people have done it. Listen, okay. Physically, okay, physically, we can say that we've never felt no shackles, okay, but we know those are our people. Right. You understand what I'm trying to say? Physically, I agree with we you. don't, right, but we don't, we don't denounce, okay, and we don't disapprove, okay, and we don't try to get around what has happened to you our fathers, that. okay. That's what, right, absolutely, but you're, right, now. but you're in denial, Will, okay, you're, and that's what you Europeans do, man. Whenever your back is up against the wall, okay, you're always in denial. That's not me. That's not my people. That's right. not what I did. Yes, your people, man. You Come on. No. Can I ask you another question? The, the pride of thy heart. Uh, the pride of thy heart has deceived thee. The most I said the pride of your heart has deceived you, man. Okay, what's your question, boy? I'm having some fun with you. Come on. Can you not seek 
an individual for the individual. I have to, bro. I'm sorry because you know why? Because the Most High, okay, individualizes things. I'm, I, look, okay, we make no apologies about what the Most High says. We're here to read His Word as it is verbatim. We're not going to shortcut nothing, okay, just for you, okay, and just so for your pleasure, okay. You understand what I'm trying to say, man. right? But you're telling me I'm not feeling. to individualize, okay? But it's the Most High that's individualizing, okay? He the description that the Heavenly Father, okay, puts to you Europeans, okay, fits your people to a T. It's nobody else. Okay, when he describes the devil, okay, if the devil's attributes, it fits you. You're the physical counterpart of Satan, okay? You're the children of Satan, okay? And you're here to do Satan's work, okay? Physical, okay, everything that Satan conjures up in his mind, okay, and have you do, you do, okay, according to the Bible. Come on. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. The pride of your heart hath deceived you, okay? What you think is right is actually wrong, okay? The laws that your people put up, okay, is wrong. Come on. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. <laughs> I told you that was you, Skippy. I told you that was you, Will. Okay, I told you. It describes you to a T. I told you this Bible is accurate. Those that what? Dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. You can't get around that one right there, man. Okay? And the most high individualized that one right there. He said yes. the people that dwell in the cliffs of the rock. Now, let me ask you a question, Will. Let me ask you a question. Will, let me ask you a question. Let's be fair now. Okay, if you was on Jeopardy, you let Pat say Jack ask you all the damn questions you want to. Let's right. be fair now. Who were the people, okay, who dwelt in the clefts, in the caves of the rocks? I give you all the time you want on that can one, you, Will. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Who dwelt, who was the nation of people that lived and dwelt in the clefts, in the caves of the rocks? Who were the people? I'm going to say it for the third time, y'all, Sean. No, I get it. I okay, but I'm, I'm asking you, okay, you said the book, you don't individualize, but the Most High does. Who I were the people that dwelt in the clefts? Read it again. Who did that? That dwelt in the clefts of the rock. Okay, that dwelt in the clefts of the rock. Who was the people that dwelt in the clefts of the rock? I didn't make that up. Answer the question. I, I can't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, He's got a Bible. Give me John 844. Okay, it's like, what, you, so you mean to tell me, even, uh, even, your, uh, even your girl, she can answer that question. Okay, no, okay, right, okay, no, but I'm saying even she can answer. Will, you mean to tell me, okay, you've been to school before, right? You look like a small person. Who was you taught that the Caucasian people was in the cave people? This is making it a little bit easier, because I, okay, who was the people that you was taught that was the cave people? Never been there. <laughs> 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 Finish reading that up, man. Finish, finish, finish reading it up. There you go. There, there you go, Will. Oh, you mean a Caucasian? Yeah, the Caucasian. There you go. Give Will a hand. There it is. There you go. There, there you go. Okay. So the little side like, there you go. Okay, look. Right, there you go. Yeah, right, 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 right. Caucasian cave people. That's the reason why you call, okay, your boating, your boating situation. That's why you say everybody has a caucus. Okay, that's short for Caucasian for caucus. That's where they came from, okay, because why? Because the Caucasian people are still, the Caucasian people are still ruling, okay, the caucuses. Okay, that's the reason why they call it the caucuses vote, because it's a Caucasian thing, okay? They know who the next president is going to be. We don't, look, let me say this too, Will. Okay, contrary to belief, we can give a damn about Kamala Harris. Okay, we're not those kind of men. Look, okay, man, right. I'm not we're, here by any of that. Right, we're not right, but we're not those kind of men that stand by Kamala Harris. Who we stand by, what we stand by is this book right here, Revelation 13, 9 and 10, and I'll seal it for you right here. Okay? Come on, read, finish reading. Whose habitation is high. Oh, that's another description right there, Will. It says the habitation is real high. Okay, mountains are real high. Okay, it says your habitation is real high. Okay. You turn around that building right there, that building probably have what, approximately maybe about 18, maybe 23, okay, stories whose habitation is high. According to the Bible in the book of Numbers and book of Leviticus, okay, when you read the book of Kings, you're not supposed to build anything, okay, over three stories. It tells you that, okay, the ark, okay, three stories. Everything is in threes. Even the pyramids, okay, during the time of the children of Israel was built in threes. We never built nothing over three stories, okay, because the number three symbolizes something and that means something. Come on. That saith in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Yeah, a lot of times America is proud as hell. Okay, America, you're proud as hell. Okay, because look, when your back is up against the wall, just admit it. Damn, we messed up. We got the children of Israel in captivity. Okay, we know something is gonna happen. Okay, we 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 messed up. Okay, but something is gonna happen. That's an old proud person. Okay, that don't want to change nothing. That's it. Is that it on that? Okay, come on. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, whoa, there's another description. Well, well, well. Okay, there's another description of who that's talking about, brother. Don't, I exalt, we got the caves, number one. Okay, 
and he's coming to the eagle. Here it comes, bro. Don't I exalt myself as what? As the eagle. What did the Romans exalt themselves? What do you see on the back of the corner? Did a Nick Hall, did a, look, did a Puerto Rican from the Bronx put that eagle back there? Hell no. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Did a, did a West Indian from the islands, did they put that eagle back there? Not Where did the eagle write? I know you didn't, Will, but this is given a description of your people. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. This Bible, okay, is right and exact. It says, though you exalt yourself as the eagle, that goes back from the Greeks. Alexander the Greek holding the eagle. Donald Trump holding the eagle. I've written books, okay, where you show Donald Trump holding the eagle. All the presidents of the United States, groups of Caucasian men, they got the whole that eagle because they're symbolizing their forefathers, okay? They're representations, okay, of their forefathers. Just like you're standing here, you're a representation of your forefathers as well, too. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. That's another one right there. Come on. Though thou set thy nest among the stars. Oh, 1969. Okay, good. I, I'll give you a second. Because I need a breather. Go ahead. You, you lucky. I need a breather. You're, you're working, man. I, I, I'm here for the conversation, dude. Like, <laughs> so are we. I, I appreciate I can appreciate that. If we can appreciate having a new conversation. That's what we've been doing. Well, I know. I agree. We are. That's what I'm here for. Right. So what's your right? What insults? You know what? You Europeans, right? Let me say this. Let, let me say this, right? Give me um, drop that and give me two thirty-two twenty-one. You Europeans, you do a fantastic job of doing that yourself. You don't need us to stand up here and insult you. Okay, right. But I'm saying you make you you guys do a fantastic job. Okay, of, of insulting yourselves. Okay, you don't need us to stand up here and do that for you. Just like the black men. Okay, like they act a certain way in the Puerto Rican. I'm not gonna pretend to be right. perfect. But what I'm saying is this, you said insults, okay? But what I'm saying is this, you guys do a perfectly good job of insulting insult yourselves. A you do a perfectly good job a as, as a whole, that. okay? As a person, as a whole, whatever you want to call it. You guys do a perfectly good job of insulting yourselves as it is. Let me give you, let me uh, ask you a question, okay? So yeah, thanks for your wisdom. Now get on down the street. <laughs> all right, thanks for your wisdom, okay? Thanks for all your, your wisdom, okay? All right, but let me ask you a question, okay? Who, who, who would make who would make a device? Okay, and I'm gonna give you an example. Okay. Okay. Who would who would make a? Let me ask you a question. Who would make a cigarette? Okay. Who would make a device? Okay, called the cigarette, and knowingly that it causes cancer. Okay, you would sell it to people and then talk about people got cancer. Who would do that? Absolutely. Let me ask you another question. Okay. Who would make food? Okay, GMO food, okay, who does that? Who makes unnatural food, man, and talk about, what the Bill, what's Terrible that guy's name again, Bill Gates? Terrible. Oh, what's the other guy, what's the other guy's name again? Not Bill Gates, it's a Bill Gates. The one, Gates. Yeah, good, good, he's your brother. You need to listen, you can hear him all you want. That, that, yeah, that is your brother. Yeah, that is your brother, okay, right. So the most I said this, okay. That's I think you're wrong. Read Deuteronomy 32 and 21. Hey, Will, you funny, come on. They have moved me to jealousy. Okay, listen, the children of Israel have moved the most high to jealousy. Hey, well, listen to this last one. Listen to this last one. The most high said, we've moved him to jealousy. Come on. With that which is not God. The most high said, with that which is not his. To this very day, we celebrate as a people. Nigga, we're Western Puerto Rican. Okay, we celebrate things like Halloween, Christmas. Okay, Mother's Day. That's not in the Bible, man. Fourth of July. That's not in the Bible. So we moved the Heavenly Father and still doing it to this day, being homosexuals, being lesbians, going out and voting. Okay, which is what? False. Come on. He said, we moved into jealousy, which that which is not the heavenly father. Come on, Will. We're coming on home with it. Come on. They have provoked me to anger. So I said, he's angry. Okay, but what happened? With their vanities. With our vanities. And guess what, Will? Come on. And I will move them to jealousy. That's what happened to us, Will. Come on. With those which are not a people. And the most high calls you not a people, man. Because up in the caves, nobody knew who the hell you were. I until you came out. You're not a people. To this day, you're still not a people, man. Come on. I will provoke them to anger. Most high, listen up, Will. The most high said, Leave, leave a donation, well. Come on, he said he's gonna promote us to anger with a foolish nation. Oh, so I say with a foolish nation, man. Okay, and that fits you right. Goodbye, Will. I see when I told you you make it good. You 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 make a great example and you make a fool out of his own self. We ain't gotta do a damn thing. Talk about that's not talking about me. Yeah, we don't listen. We didn't need him to stand up here to make a fool make an ass out of himself, uh Sherlock. Okay? The European race, you do fine all by your damn self. Right. Making yourself like total jackasses without our help without our help. Okay? Because that's that's your damn spirit and that's your damn nature, man. Okay, a bunch of damn idiots, man. And you got the world following you also, man. You got the black man following up behind you, thinking that it ain't right. If it ain't right, it ain't right, man. Boom, man. Okay, I wish you would stay here a little bit longer with that. Okay, I'm a little windy. Who coming up next? Okay, with that, that's my time. Okay, Biggie, from you coming up up next? Nah, that's, that's, that's my Yashua. time. Man, pray to see you. Holla while you holla shot. Okay, if you want to be this time, you want to be a Christ. Come on, bring it on home, Captain Chief.